hello everyone welcome to our video so in this video we will make a website like we will host the website from ec2 okay in aws so for that we will have to do some configuration and we will have to do that configuration in an instance okay because we want to uh, deploy that website on browser using ec2 instance okay in an ec2 instance we will be configuring other things so for that we will first have to launch an instance right so in your aws search for ec2 and in that ec2 dashboard you will get your launch instance and you can launch instance from here or this orange button you can click on this and click on this to launch instance and then you will have to select something like uh, name or tags so in the name part what you have to do you just have to set the name here right and name would be like uh, my web server okay this is the name ami i'll be selecting amazon linux only because this is free tier eligible and i want to work in this you can select any of these mac os ubuntu windows red hat you have plenty of options here next is instance type you can work with uh, like t1.micro or t2.micro or any of the instance type but i want to be in free tier i want to be free tier eligible for this work so what i'll be choosing i'll be choosing instance type as t2.micro only right next is key pair you can set any of the key pair if you have created any key pair you can just select that or you can make a new key pair so how to make a new key pair so you just have to enter a meaningful name then key pair type is rsa.pm select that if you have a 64 bit uh, like applications and you have a, a pcs and we are in modern days and so you can go for rsa and dot pm keep it default create a new pair key pair and that will be downloaded in your downloads folder okay and uh, i have already made a key pair which is web demo so i'll be selecting that only next is security group so what type of security groups are required so ssh traffic is very uh, necessary because it helps us to connect to our instance from anywhere to anywhere right so we have this configuration for this instance but this is our default configuration here what we want to do as i said that we will be hosting a website on our web browser right so for that we just need to select this one this allow http traffic from the internet will uh, make sure that we should be connected with http this protocol should be there whenever we are working with browser and this is very important whenever we are creating a web server so this we have selected now we don't want to do anything else here we will just launch this instance let's wait until it's being launched so your instance is already launched you can see that from here instance state is pending so we will refresh it and once it is in running state we will be working with it so let us wait for that till then let me tell you i haven't coded any websites for this i am just showing how to like deploy and how to like host a website from your ec2 instance so for that I'll be taking a template, a cool template I got in my mind today. So complex free website templates, just search this. And in free CSS, you will get complex free CSS template. So this is my template. Suppose I want to download it. So I just want its zip file. So for that, I'll show you what we have to do. Till then, let us uh, set up this one. So select this. Web, my web server and then you can connect to it see connecting an ec2 instance has many options you can connect it by like cli using cli or this uh, connect button only you can connect to your instance now what we have to do we just have to click on the connect button which is here in the bottom part and then your instance will be connected and you you will be connected to your instance and uh, a linux type page will be open right and in that we have to do some configuration we will see what type of configuration we have to do 
and I'll be writing those codes. So here we have been connected to the Linux. So let us write basic codes which are sudo su dash and I hope you know what this will do. This will take you as a user in the instance, right? Root user, as a root user. You are now a root user, correct? Because if you are in the root user, you can install or update stuff here. If you are not root user, you will not be permitted all these things. So now as I'm a root user, I just need to like update that system. Check the updates for the system. So yum update and then minus y is your command for updation. And it is already updated. Nothing to do. It is completed. Now what? Now as we know that we have to install like we have to host that web server web uh, site on the browser so for that we have a command yum install minus y httpd this will will install your httpd services and httpd service will be installed on your ec2 instance and this is the service which require which is required to be connected to the browser right so this is completed actually so let us clear the screen now and uh, as you have installed your httpd service now you have to start or enable that because if you'll check the status of that httpd it is it will be disabled now okay so for that to enable that we just have to write some simple commands which are system ctl start httpd right just enter then again system enable httpd because we want to enable that service so for that write enable httpd so here it is created symlink is already created now what now we can see the status system status httpd so you have our status oh sorry system ctl i have to write system ctl space status httpd so here is the that we have made a uh, an apache http server and yep uh, we have this active it is running since this time 34 seconds ago only so yep, it is running it is enabled now what we have to make a folder so let us clear the screen and let us do the hosting part now so for that you have to make a temporary folder so i'll make mkd add temp as a folder then let me zoom it okay then what we have to go into this folder so for that you have to write cd space temp okay we are in this folder temp folder now now what you can write a command to include your this website zip folder into that created directory okay we have already created the directory and in this directory, we want to paste this folder. So just right click on this download and copy link address and then just paste it here with a vget command, vget space this. Okay, now press enter. Okay, not vget, it was wget, sorry. And then, my mistake, you should, uh, Take care of that you just have to write w get not we get just forgot that okay it is now being installed this complex dot zip is here saved in our uh temp directory let us check whether it is there or not ls dash lrt and yeah it is there complex dot zip is there now what now next thing is we have to unzip that complex dot zip file or folder so let us unzip that complex dot zip so yep it is unzipped now how can we check that let us clear our screen first and then ls dash lrt so you will see that in the temp directory we have a complex file now okay it is not zip it is now unzipped next is we have to go to this complex folder Okay, we are in this complex folder. Let us see all the files that are into this folder. Okay, these are all, all files are there in this folder. 
what next so next you have to write a move command to move this or uh, into an html file so mb start space slash into a where file we will be storing this slash html slash right so this is our command enter and then let us go into that file slash where slash www slash html slash just press enter and you are into this stm file now you can see that this this website this one james stores this will be visible this is now hosted on your instance and how you can check that just copy this public ip we have already installed httpd service right we have already uh, enabled that that in the security group that we want http service in our security group you can uh, if you haven't enabled that you can enable that after making instance also okay just go to the security group inbound rules and then update that security edit inbound rules and update the security group right now we can just paste the public ip here and yep you will see in a moment that this template is hosted here and you can see james toss this lorem epsom dolos HTML. and yeah this cool website is now hosted on our ec2 instance only right so through our ec2 instance we have hosted this very uh, website and add this ip address of this public id right so this is how we host a website on ec2 instance this was the video to tell you about how you can post a website on your ec2 instance i hope it was very easy for you because we just have to write some simple linux commands uh, by connecting an instance so that that's how we do it so i hope this was clear to you this video was much clear to you let's meet in our next video till then thank you keep liking us and keep subscribing us thank you